We give worship you, Lord, for who you are. You are worthy, O God Almighty. We give you praise. Thank you, Lord, O God Almighty. Thank you, Lord, for giving us an opportunity to be in your house, O Lord. We are so happy to be in your house, Jehovah God, as leaders, to stand in a place of gap, to intercede and pray, Lord, for your people, Lord God, my Father, in different groups, different, different Lord places, Lord, the Christian, the people, Lord God, my Father, who are part of this work and ministry. We pray for them, Jehovah God. We pray that, Lord God, my Father, you will stand with them. In this time, Lord God, my Father, of such a difficulty, we are praying that, Lord God, your hand will be upon your people, Jehovah God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, my Lord, we pray. We are asking of you, Lord, for your favor. We are asking you for your grace. We are asking you, Lord, to sustain, sustain this altar. Lord God, from this altar we speak the blessings of God, my Lord. We speak victory. We speak the blessings of God. We speak the deliverance, oh God. There are men who worship here. There are women who worship here. There are children who worship here, Lord. Mother God, we pray that you shall preserve them in the mighty name of the Lord. Preserve your people, Lord, oh God. Even at a time like this, oh Jehovah God. Lord, we pray that you may preserve. Jehovah God, we stand in the gap and we intercede, oh Lord, my Father. And we call upon your holy name that my God, you shall come and you shall come and deliver. You shall come and heal, oh God. You shall come and stand and encourage. Jehovah God, my Lord, my Father and my Lord, Lord, oh God, we intercede, oh Lord, my God. We pray, oh God, my Lord, interceding for your work, that, Lord, you shall sustain your work. The church of Christ Jesus shall stand even in this evil hour, shall stand, oh Lord, my Father, in the mighty name of the Lord. The believers shall stand, oh God. The Christians shall stand, oh Lord. My Father, even in this time of testing, that the church will stand in the mighty name of the Lord, and the church will be strong, and the church will be reached out in the mighty name of the Lord. For you you are the Lord, O oh God. You are gracious, O oh Lord. You are wonderful, my Father. There is no God like you. Therefore, Lord, take over. We pray, O oh Jehovah God. Take over, Lord, O oh God, my Lord. In this hour, Jehovah, we pray for victory. We pray that, Lord, we shall conquer in the mighty name of the Lord. We shall conquer in the mighty name of the Lord. Jehovah God, my Lord, O oh Jehovah, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, O oh God, my Lord, come. Come, Lord Jesus. Lord, my God. God Almighty, oh Lord God, when the three boys were thrown in the fire, Lord, you never forsook them. You went with them in the fire. And Lord God, because of the fourth man, they were able to stand the fire. Lord God, my Lord, even now you are with us. Jehovah God, Lord, that you shall be with us, Jesus. Even this time, oh Lord, let the church emerge more victorious, more stronger than it was, oh Jehovah God. Let the people who are not even able to come to church in their houses, in their homes, oh Lord, but you and Encourage them, but you strengthen them, oh God. In the name of the Lord, O oh God, renew their strength, O oh Lord. Strengthen their lives, O oh God, my Father. We pray, O oh God. We wait upon you, Jehovah. We wait upon you, King of Kings. We wait upon you, Lord of Lord. We pray, O oh Jehovah God, my Lord and my Father, that you will, my God, Lord, take over, my Father, that you may be glorified in the lives, O oh Jehovah God. For you are the Lord, O oh God, my Father, that the work of the Lord shall continue. The work of salvation shall continue. Men and women shall stand firmly, Jehovah God. Even in this time, O oh Lord, O oh God, we pray for safety. We pray for deliverance. We pray that, Lord God, my Lord, none of the people that worship in this place, O oh God, and this ministry, wherever they are, Jehovah, sustain them, keep them, O oh Lord. We pray, O oh God, my Lord. We also pray and ask you, even for this, even Lord God, my Lord, for the community, we pray that, Lord God, you shall save us. Save this nation. Save this community. Oh Lord, my Father, we pray, oh God, my God, that Lord, my Father, you will come and deliver us from every expectation of the evil one, oh Jehovah, and we shall be able to go through every circumstances and every situation, oh Lord, for you are the Lord, oh God. Rule and reign, oh God, my Lord. Be thou exalted. Be thou glorified, oh God, my Lord. You are the King. You are the King, oh Lord. Be exalted and be 
glorified. We welcome you in this service. Take over, Lord. We welcome you in this service. We welcome you in this service. Jesus, we welcome you. Take control. And Lord, my Father, speak to us. Lord, oh God, my Lord. We pray, oh God, Lord. Let your word, my God, have power of encouragement, have power to build, have power to heal, have power to minister in the name of the Lord, oh God. Even as your word is released, Lord, my Father, in the super highways, Jehovah God, let your word minister to those, oh Jehovah, who will connect with it in the mighty name of the Lord. Father, we pray that your word, oh God, my Lord, you send your word and Lord, it heal them. Let your word of healing, your word of restoration, your word, oh God, of courage come upon your people in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you. We worship your name because we, Lord God, that you are here with us. Therefore, take over even this service in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Want to sing just one stanza? Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Want to sing uh, one stanza of a song? Hallelujah. And then we will continue sharing the word of God. By the grace of God, this is an opportunity the Lord has given us to be in his house, to be in his presence as we come to fellowship, as we come to share the word of God. The church of Jesus Christ is moving on in the world. The church of Jesus Christ is becoming stronger. Believers are connecting, they are praying, they are being able to, uh, they are spending more time with the Lord. And even ourselves, and this time, we are in the presence of the Lord. And we thank God that he has given us an opportunity to be in the house of the Lord. The Lord said, do not allow the, the fire of the altar to go off. And we are trusting the Lord that we are not going to allow the fire of the altar to go off. We must stand on the place. We must stand in the place, in the cup, in the presence of the Lord. And they continue pleading the mercies of God. And they continue praying. And they continue uh, declaring the word of God from the, from the altar of the Lord. We are here to declare that word that it may be able to bless those who shall be able to hear and those who shall be rich, our people, the people who are able to connect with us locally, internationally, that the Lord God will bless them, the Lord God will minister to them even this very afternoon. Hallelujah. Let us stand in the name, presence of the Lord and, and we'll sing that song. Hallelujah. Ring, Jesus, ring. Hallelujah. Ring, Jesus. Let him reign. He's a king. He's a king of Zion. He's a king of peace. He has come to reign. Let him reign in every circumstances. Let the Lord reign. He is a king. Let him reign in this ministry. Let him reign in every circumstances. Let him reign. Lord, we say reign. Lord, reign.
reign our lives. Reign, O Lord. You are mighty, Jehovah God. We say, reign, O Lord. Reign, O Lord. You are the king, O Lord. You are the king. You are the king, O Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Father, bless the word that we are bringing this afternoon, this, uh, this service. May you bless that word, O God. May it have power. And may Lord God, my Father, bless the people in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's be able to shout the Lord as the Lord gives you a word. Let's shout it before God. Hallelujah. Because the Lord is reigning, is in control. This, uh, this time I want to share a word of God. The Lord has been laying upon my heart. Praise the name of Jesus this week. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. And the Lord has given me a word called, uh, uh, the word which the Lord has given in my heart is called the reign of victory. The reign of victory. The reign of victory. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The reign of victory. Hallelujah. Amen. The power to conquer, to rule, and to dominate. That's what we call victory. Hallelujah. The power to conquer, to rule, and to dominate. That is what we call victory. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In the last one week, I have been hearing the word, the, the, the Lord putting this word in my heart, the word victory, victory, victory. Hallelujah. Victory. I'm hearing that word, and the Lord has been putting it in my heart, victory, victory. Hallelujah. I believe soon in this season, we are where, where we are, there's going to be a ray of light of victory. Hallelujah. A ray of light of victory that is going to shine in the current crisis. Hallelujah. If you believe with me, say amen. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. A ray of light. I understand the time I'm speaking this word and I understand what a time we are. Hallelujah. But I, I know the Lord calls things which are not as if they are and they become. Hallelujah. And therefore today, by the grace of God from this altar, we are speaking about the reign of victory. Hallelujah. And especially upon the children of God, that the Lord God is speaking about the reign of victory. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. The reign that the Lord God is releasing to us to conquer, to rule, and to dominate. That is what we call victory. Amen. This reign of victory shall usher us into new places. Into new places. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. This reign of victory shall usher us into new places of ministry where we will be able to conquer, to rule, and to dominate. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The Lord called us. The Lord called us and has ordained us into this place. And in the midst of the confusion, in the midst of the battles, in the midst of the many confusion, the Lord God is speaking about victory. Victory. And I believe today, as the Lord speaks to us, and as the Lord ministers to you this word, you can receive it, and you can embrace it, and you can reign in it. Hallelujah. You can decide, I'm going to reign in victory. Hallelujah. It's called the reign of victory. And I believe that the Lord God is ushering the church into the reign of victory. Hallelujah. Amen. Foundation of victory. What is the foundation of the victory? What uh, This thing I'm talking is not something imagined. It's not something created. It's not a wishful thinking. Hallelujah. It has a foundation. Hallelujah. And the foundation of this victory is the death and the resurrection of Christ Jesus. That is the foundation. Hallelujah. That is the foundation where we come from. We are coming from, we are coming from just celebrating Easter. Hallelujah. We are coming from just celebrating the death and the resurrection. And from that the Lord is speaking about victory. The reign of victory. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. The, the angel, praise the name of Jesus. The power to conquer, to rule, to dominate has been given to us through Christ Jesus. 
Amen. As he speaks after resurrection, he said, All power is given to me in heaven and in this world. Praise the name of Jesus. But the new day begins with the, 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 the greatest, uh, the resurrection story of Christ Jesus. The resurrection story is, uh, is our greatest story of the greatest victory that has ever happened. Hallelujah. The week, the week before resurrection, it closed with gloominess. There was so much gloominess. There was sadness, great sadness, great sign of defeat with the dead of Christ Jesus on the cross. As the week ended, it ended at a bad note. It went so badly. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. It was the worst week in the world which ended so badly with, with Christ Jesus himself being crucified. Hallelujah. Amen. But the new day begins with great victory. The new day begins with great victory. And the Bible says on the first day of the week. On the first day of the week. Hallelujah. What a blessed week. The first day of the week. As the week was beginning. The first day of the week. Hallelujah. And the first day of the week happened to be Sunday. Hallelujah. It was the first day of the week. The week ended on Saturday. And Jesus had been crucified. And his story had been forgotten. But now the Bible says on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene finds a stone from the grave taken away. And the angel sitting on the stone. Hallelujah. I'm talking about the reign of victory. Hallelujah. The reign of victory. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord God ushering us to another week. Amen. Tell your neighbor another week. Hallelujah. Another week. Another week is another season. Hallelujah. We have come from another season and we are entering another season. Hallelujah. The season of sadness, the season of defeat, and now coming to another season. Hallelujah. And then the Bible says, on the first day of the week. And as I was reading that word, the Lord kept putting up a point. The first day of the week. Hallelujah. Amen. And the Bible now says, when to the tomb early, it was too dark. And they saw that the tomb and be the tomb and the stone had been taken away from the tomb. Amen. Matthew to Matthew 28 in the in the end of the Sabbath, as it began to dawn towards the first day of the week. Hallelujah. I say the lay of victory. The lay of victory. It was so dark. It was so it was so sad. But as the, as the day was beginning, the day was beginning, as the, as the end of the Sabbath, as it began to dawn towards the first day of the week, there was a dawn, there was a light, a ray of victory that started penetrating in the world. Hallelujah. Verse 2, and beyond there was a great earthquake, for the angel of the Lord descended from heaven, and they came down and rolled back the stone from the door and they sat upon it. Hallelujah. I'm talking about the reign of victory. The reign of victory. Hallelujah. The heaven came, the angel came down. Hallelujah. The angel of the Lord came down. And, and the angel came and rolled the stone. How I pray that the angel of the Lord in this time may also come and roll the stone away. Hallelujah. There is a stone, a big stone, which is there, the stone of Corona. Hallelujah. Which is, uh, which is becoming, which is hindering the victory. And the people look at it and they, they ask him, the Mary and Magdalene, they were asking, who shall roll the stone from us? Hallelujah. We are going to the grave, but we don't know who shall roll the stone from us. But they never knew the Lord himself had gone ahead. I have a message. The Lord has already gone ahead. Hallelujah. The Lord has already, has already gone ahead. People have been asking what is going to be the solution? What is going to happen? What is going to happen? Hallelujah. But the Lord has already gone ahead. He had already sent the angel. And with the power of earthquake. Hallelujah. To defeat whatever was there. To conquer. To rule. To dominate. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. And I pray today as we are going through this. 
that we understand who we are, that we understand what the Lord has given us, that we understand the, the, what the Lord God has done in ourselves. Amen. His countenance was like a lightning. The continent of the angel was like lightning, and his remnant was as white as snow. And for fear of him, the gatekeepers did he shake and became as dead. And the angel answered, Amen, and said to, to the woman, Fear not, for I know that you are seeking for Jesus, which was crucified, which was crucified. Past tense, hallelujah, which was crucified. He is not here. For he is risen, as he said, come and see the place where he lay. Hallelujah. He is risen. Hallelujah. This is victory. This is victory. Hallelujah. You are looking for Jesus who was crucified. I pray so some of the things that are facing us will become past tense. Hallelujah. They will become past tense. You are looking for Jesus who was crucified. Hallelujah. Amen. He is not here. Hallelujah. I pray that the God Almighty will turn things around and some of the things we are seeing, we shall not be able to see them. He is not here. Hallelujah. He is risen. Hallelujah. I remember when the, when the Lord comes in victory, some of the things you are able you to see, you don't see them again. Because the Lord victory comes and the conquers and the rules and dominates. That's why the Bible says, as the, the, the Lord was saying to Moses, tell these people, these Egyptians you are seeing, you shall not see them anymore. Hallelujah. When the reign of victory comes, some of the things you used to see, you don't see them. Some of the things you used to experience, you don't experience them. Because now you are entering in the place of reign of victory. Hallelujah. Amen. This is exciting. This is exciting. Lord, I thank you. Amen. He is not here. He is risen. He is not here. He is risen. The word risen is a word which is powerful. Hallelujah. It's a word of victory. It's a word that has overcome defeat. He is not laying here. He is not in the house. He is not dead. He is risen. He has taken a position. I said victory ushers us to another place where we come out from where we, people used to know where we are to where people, to, to where they expected us to, to be, to where the Lord wants us to be. And that's why I say the victory ushers us into a place, into a new place. And that I talked about the ray of victory coming to us, to usher us into a new place. Hallelujah. Where the Lord wants us to be in his presence. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Come and see the place where he lay. Come and see the place where he lay. Amen. Glory to God. God, the, our God is our God of all victory. Our God. I read the book, the chapter, First Chronicles, First Chronicles chapter 29. The, our God is our God of all victories. Somebody saying, sang a song, victory belongs to Jesus. Hallelujah. Victory. Hallelujah. Victory belongs to Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. God is a God of victory. Hallelujah. First Chronicles chapter 29, verse 11 and verses 12. This is what David said as he prayed. He made this prayer, which I lacked. In fact, I, I am going to make it to be one of my prayers. Hallelujah. What did David pray? He said, Thine, O Lord, is the greatness. Hallelujah. Thine, O Lord, praise God. Amen. Chronicles 29, 11. Thine, O Lord, is the greatness. Number two, and the power, and the glory, and the victory. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Thine, O Lord. Glory to God. Even in this hour, thine, O oh Lord, hallelujah, is what? Greatness. Glory to God. 
Amen. Number two, thy no Lord is what? Power and glory and the victory. Hallelujah. Amen. Very interesting how they arranged. Amen. And the majesty. Praise the name of Jesus. Power. It begins, it begins by greatness. Thy no Lord is greatness. Thy no Lord is greatness. Hallelujah. To the Lord belongs the greatness. The God, the God of the oceans. The God of the great oceans. The God who created the sun. The God of the great the great things. The tiny Lord belongs the greatness. Hallelujah. Amen. Anyone wanting greatness must connect himself because thy no Lord is the greatness. Hallelujah. Number two, thy no Lord is power. Hallelujah. To you, Lord, belongs power. You want power? You connect to him. Hallelujah. Thy no Lord is what? Glory. Hallelujah. Number three, glory. Hallelujah. Glory. Amen. And then it does not put full stop there. Hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. After all these things, then it talks about thy new Lord is victory. Belongs to victory. Victory belongs to you, Lord. Amen. And then the other one, and majesty. For all that is in heaven and in the earth is yours. Thine is a kingdom, O Lord. Thou art exalted as a hand above all. Verse 12. Both riches and honor comes of thee, and thou reigneth over all, and in thine hand is power and might, and in thine hand it is to make great and to give strength to all. Hallelujah. I am speaking about the God of victories. The God of victory. Hallelujah. To him belongs victory. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That God, one of the things that he has in his store is victory. Hallelujah. That's the victory that he gave Jesus. That's the victory that Jesus came with. That is why Jesus Christ overcame death. Because of the victory that he had. He had the victory. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. The crisis was there. The challenges were there. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But you see, it, you, you know, when somebody... When somebody has got victory, it doesn't matter the challenge because inside him there's a victory. Hallelujah. So it doesn't matter what, where you put him inside. You put him in the grave, the power of victory brings him out. Because why? Because in him there's victory. Hallelujah. Thy new Lord belongs victory. And I pray today in the mighty name of Jesus that the victory the Lord has put in us shall cause us to emerge victorious. Hallelujah. And whatever circumstances it is, the Lord God is speaking about us, reigning in victory. Hallelujah. Because in Him belongs the victory. Hallelujah. Amen. God, to you belongs this. The God of victory. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you a child of God? Are you a child of God? Amen. When you are a child of God, hallelujah, then you have the DNA of victory. Hallelujah. You have the DNA of victory. And it is written in the back of the book of 1 John 5 4. 1 John 5 4. It says, What? For whosoever is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. Hallelujah. Whosoever is born of God, whatsoever is born of this God of victory. Hallelujah. The God of victory. Hallelujah. That those who are born of him, hallelujah, have the DNA in themselves of victory. Hallelujah. It is inside us. The Lord God already purchased this. He already gave us, already uh, uh, issued it to us as he came from out of the grave. And then from him now we are born of him. We are born of him through Jesus Christ. Therefore, we are born in this DNA of victory. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. The Lord God is saying, and whosoever is born of God, overcometh the world. Overcometh the world. Amen. And this is a victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. Amen. First, uh, 
Corinthians 15, 54, 15, 54, 57. First Corinthians chapter 15, first verse 57. But thanks be to God, which gives us what? Victory. Hallelujah. Who gives us what? Victory through Christ Jesus our Lord. The Lord gives us. Thank be to God who gives us victory. Hallelujah. Victory. That God gives us victory in circumstances, in situation, in whatever that we are going through. He gives us victory. Hallelujah. Amen. And even now he's giving us victory over circumstances, over situation. Hallelujah. Amen. Then verse 15 says, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be stand, 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 stand fast and immovable. Hallelujah. Victory causes us to be unmovable. Why? Because we have victory in God. Hallelujah. Always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much as you know your labor in the Lord is not in vain. The Lord God releasing us. We are in another season. Hallelujah. The season of victory. Where the Lord is granting us. He has been speaking to us. He has been placed that word. Victory, 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 victory. Hallelujah. The Bible is full of Victoria stories. Is it not true? Is the Bible not full of the stories of victory? Hallelujah. This book, the Bible, is a book, or is a story, story by story, story by story of what? Victory. Hallelujah. Amen. Do I begin by talking about Joseph? Hallelujah. A man, a young man who walked from one victory to another. Hallelujah. From the pit, hallelujah, to, to Potiphar's house, victory. From Potiphar's house to prison. From the prison to the palace, hallelujah, victory, hallelujah. As we walk with the Lord, there's one thing permanent. One of the biggest things which is permanent is victory, hallelujah. As we walk with the Lord, as we walk with him, he assures us of what? Victory. Hallelujah. Doesn't matter what is happening. Doesn't matter whether we are in prison. There is victory there as well. It doesn't matter whether we are in the pit. There is victory as well. Hallelujah. Because why? Because the Bible says, whosoever is born of God or uh, overcome the world. And this is the victory that God has given us. Hallelujah. And the day one of the things that the Lord has put in us is our DNA of victory. And the Lord this moment, listen to the word of God. This is not my word. The word of the Lord is speaking about victory. Hallelujah. Amen. I speak it in the nation. I speak it to everyone. I speak it to the household of the Lord. Even, even those in the worst circumstances. Even those in the bed. Even those in the hospital. I say victory. Hallelujah. Because the Lord God has given us as something so important that we can walk with. Look at the life, even of Moses, life of victory. Life of, look at the life of David, life of victory. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Because the DNA of victory is in us. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Look at Daniel. Story of victory. Hallelujah. Close the palace. He's a foreigner. He's a walking in victory. Why? Because the Lord is with him. Why is he walking in victory? Because the Lord is with him. But the Bible says to him belongs what? Greatness. Belongs power. Belongs glory. Belongs victory. Hallelujah. And as we walk with the Lord, the Lord wants to usher us from one victory to another victory. The Lord wants to usher us. The Lord wants to walk with us that we may be able to overcome why are there circumstances? Why are there difficulties? Because the Lord wants to show himself victorious. Hey, say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Why are there difficult circumstances? The Lord wants to show himself what? Victorious. Amen. Even whatever is happening now, the Lord wants to show himself what? Victorious. Hallelujah. And today, as a, as a children of God, one of the things we should arm ourselves in this season is victory. Hallelujah. We should possess it and hold it and say, victory is mine, that I'm going to overcome, that I'm going to be victorious. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The power to dominate. Amen. The power to dominate. Victory is given... But we must exercise the victory given by power of faith. 
Hallelujah. Amen. Victory is given. The Lord has given us victory. But we must exercise our victory by what? By faith. The Bible says those who are the, 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 the born of God, they overcome the world. And this is a victory, even their faith. But what now, what, what brings manifestation of the victory is the faith. Hallelujah. As we exercise our faith, we take on our victory. Hallelujah. The Bible, the book, the faith enforces victory given and they bring the manifestation of the victory. Faith. And we look at the, the Hebrews, chapter, the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, verse 30. By faith, the walls of Jericho fell down after they were encompassed about uh, seven days. Hallelujah. Victory. Faith brought victory. Hallelujah. Faith brought victory. As they exercised their faith. Hallelujah. Victory was already given. Hallelujah. Amen. Victory was already what? Given. Hallelujah. They were carrying it from, his, from when they came from when they came from Egypt. They were already carrying victory. Hallelujah. They were the Bible says they were carrying victory. Hallelujah. But you have to exercise victory by faith. The manifestation of victory comes when we when, when we exercise faith. Because faith unlocks the victory which is already given. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. As the Bible says, as they exercise their, their faith, they, God gives them the victory. Because the, the victory was already theirs, they actualize, they actualize the victory. As we walk in faith, we actualize the victory which is already granted. Hallelujah. By faith, the halot. Rahab, perish not with them that believed not when she received the spies with peace. Rahab, victory. Hallelujah. Amen. Verse 32. And what shall I say more? What shall I say more? What shall I more say? For the time will not fail me to tell of Gideon and Barak and Samson of Japheth and David also and Samuel and of the prophets who through faith subdued kingdoms hallelujah say kingdoms subdued kingdoms hallelujah victory over kingdoms amen the Bible says wrought righteousness obtained promises stop the mouth of lion quench the fire the violence of fire escape the edge of the sword out of weaknesses they were made strong Works violent in fight, turned to flight the armies of the aliens. Women received their dead, raised to life again, and others were tortured not, not accepting deliverance, that they may obtain a better resurrection. Victory. This is victorious. Victory of great men of God. Faith brought victory. Hallelujah. You can hear what happened here. Very interesting cases here. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible talks about these this people here. Who all through faith subdued kingdoms. They got victory. Hallelujah. God gave them victory over kingdoms, over enemies, over the powers of darkness. They went to battle, they conquered. Hallelujah. Why? They came out victorious. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Ha ha. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Speak it loudly. I shall not die defeated. Say it in my mouth. I shall not die out defeated. I shall die victorious. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Don't, don't be defeated. Hallelujah. Let not sickness defeat you. Hallelujah. That sickness cannot kill you. Hallelujah. You can defeat it by faith. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. You can accept it to defeat you, or you can defeat it. You can come out victorious from that ICU. You can come out. Hallelujah. Victorious. Hallelujah. You can come out victorious. In the circumstances you are, you can come out victorious. Why? Because Jesus Christ went to the grave and he came out victorious. And because Jesus lives in us, we have the DNA of victory in us. Hallelujah. To come out victorious. To battle victorious. To do ministry victorious. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. I speak it out. 2020. 2020. 
that we are going to fight victorious. We are going to excel victoriously. Hallelujah. We are going to go through the Red Sea victoriously. Glory to God. I speak victory in your, in, your, in your fiber. That your fiber of your bones. Your bones also may also start singing victory. Hallelujah. Your nerves may start singing victory. Your life may also start singing victory. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. One of the biggest, one of the biggest challenge of many people in the world. Amen. There are many people today who are looking for sympathy. Okay. They, they are sympathy seekers. They want people to sympathize with them. But let me tell you, in this world, if you look for sympathy, you get a slap. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord God is not calling us to receive sympathy. The Lord God is calling us to walk victorious. Because he has conquered. Because he has overcome. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Jesus said, Hallelujah. In the world, you love what? You love, you love persecution. But be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Hallelujah. I have overcome the world. We are the captain. We are the captain of the army. The Lord Jesus Christ. We have one who, who, who overcame and become victorious. He is walking with us and he is leading us from one victory to another. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. We shall not sit down and say we are defeated. Because we shall never be defeated. Because the Lord God is giving us victory day by day. Hallelujah. And if there's anything I desire this year is to walk in the victory. I want to walk in victory. I want to reign in the victory. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Verse 4, by faith Abel offered to God a more excellent sacrifice than his, than his brother Cain. Abel victory. Hallelujah. By faith Enoch was translated that he should not see death. He was translated victory. Hallelujah. Amen. The man walked with God. Hallelujah. By faith, he was so victorious that he was translated. That he will God he, he started he, he went he, God translated him because he got so victorious that he went to be the Lord. By faith, Noah being warned of God. Amen. You see Noah very victorious in a very difficult times when the people don't want to follow God. Noah was victorious. Hallelujah. Let's want to go and say hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to his name. Hallelujah. No project was finished. It never failed. It was victorious. Hallelujah. He built it and finished it. Hallelujah. He was alone. Nobody joined him, but he was victorious. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. You can say that if nobody joins me, I'll be victorious. In the Lord, I will emerge victorious. Hallelujah. Abraham, by faith. Amen. The Bible says when God called him, verse 8, to go out of the place which he should not after receive, I narrated and so made and went. Hallelujah. He went by faith. He went, hallelujah, very victorious man. Today we talk about Abraham every day. Why? Because Abraham was victorious. He went with God. He walked with God. Abraham was victorious in everything that he did. He was victorious. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The Lord is calling us to victory. He has already won the victory. He is risen. He's not here. He's not in the grave. He's not defeated. He's not down there. He's not crying down there. Hallelujah. He carried the cross. He went with it to the Calvary. He hung there. He finished the job. He went to the grave. He finished the job. He came out victorious. Hallelujah. By the grace of God. And the Lord God is calling us in the same place to overcome every circumstances and every situation that is before us. We must overcome it victorious. We cannot start crying and saying, oh Lord, we are finished. We are not finished. We are the victory. Even in the current circumstances, the Bible says, Men of hold went through more difficult situation and they emerged victorious. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. And we are emerging victorious. Hallelujah. The Bible says, even when they put them in the fire, not even a single hair was burnt. 
Hallelujah. Not even smell of fire came upon them. Hallelujah. Glory to God. They ended, they went there wearing shoes. They came out wearing shoes. Victorious. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We can go through difficult situations, yes, but let those, those difficult situations change us and destroy us. We must come out victorious even in those circumstances. Hallelujah. We must come out victorious because there's one who went and became victorious. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Romans, as we finish, Romans 8, 31 to 37. Oh, hallelujah. More than conquerors. More than conquerors. More than conquerors. Not just conquerors. The Lord is not putting us in a class of conquerors. The Lord is putting us to another class of what? More than conquerors. Hallelujah. What then shall we say in the converse of this thing? If God is for us, who can be against us? Praise the name of Jesus. If God of all greatness, the God of all power, the God of all glory, the God of victory, the God of majesty, if God is for us, who can be against us? Which virus? Which power? Which darkness? If God is for us, who can be against us? Verse 32. He who did not spare his own son, but he gave him, us, him, uh, him up for us all. Will he not also, along with him, graciously give us all things? Will he not with him give us all things? Hallelujah. Who will bring any charge against those whom God has chosen? It is God who justifies, verse 34. Who then is the one who condemns? No one. Christ Jesus who died. More than that, who raised to death life is the right hand of the Father. The Lord Jesus is in the right hand of the Father. Hallelujah. Hey, hallelujah. The one who is giving us victory, hallelujah. Not only did he rise up, but he is also in the right hand of the Father. Hallelujah. The one who gives us victory is on the right hand of the Father. Hallelujah. Making intercession. Hallelujah. For us. Jesus lives to make intercession. If there's one, one job which you never, Jesus never finished, is making intercession. Hallelujah. He is making intercession for us before God on the right hand of the Father. Amen. Verse 35. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall trouble, hardship, persecution, famine, nakedness, sword, or, or uh, danger? As it's written, for your sake we are faced death all the day. We are considered as sheep of slaughter. Verse 37. No, in all these things we are what? More than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am persuaded, for I am convinced. That neither death nor life, nor angels, nor demons, nor neither present nor future, nor demon nor power, neither height or depth, nor anything else, nor creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. The Lord God has not only given us, hallelujah, made us to be conquerors, the Lord God has made us more than conquerors. And I say that even this time, that it is remaining as we enter in the month of April of ending and as we go to uh, to month of uh, May let us enter in this month more than conquerors let us enter there to do to dominate to rule hallelujah to conquer hallelujah let us go in there to conquer to rule to dominate let us enter there with a with what we call a victorious spirit Hallelujah. A victorious spirit. Because why? Because it is in us. And we must be able to, to overcome and to stand before the Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible says the just shall live by faith. In an evil time like this, your faith will save you. Your faith will give you victory. Your faith will keep you to stand. Even when danger comes. Hallelujah. As we stand in faith. We shall have victory through every circumstance, every situation. The Lord is ushering us to a new day, a new day of victory, 
Don't sit back and look at the problem. Don't sit back and look at the challenges. Look behind, be, be, uh, uh, ahead of the, of, the, of the situation and see victory. Hallelujah. See ahead, the victory ahead. See what the Lord has prepared. The Bible says he prepares a table for us. Hallelujah. Before our enemies. See the victory. Hallelujah. When the enemies are coming, you are having a, a dinner with the Lord. Hallelujah. Because why? Because of victory. Hallelujah. The Lord God has prepared for us victory. At this time, at this dark hour, I pray that you shall embrace that victory. That you shall hold it by faith. That you shall say, I will live, I will not die. Your faith will keep you. Your faith will walk with you. Hallelujah. Even when it is dark, even when it is dark, it is never dark in heaven. Even when there's no light here, that doesn't mean there is no light in heaven. Hallelujah. There is light where the Lord is. And I say today, it doesn't matter the circumstances you are, you, are, you are in. The Lord God is speaking to us through victory. Our faith will usher us to the victory ahead of us. Our faith will connect us. It's so important that we embrace this faith to connect us and to embrace this victory that overcomes the world. That is victory that is going to overcome the world. Bible says those who are of born of God, they overcome the world. Shall we stand before God? Hallelujah. And we worship him for the victory. And thank God for the victory. And we worship God for the victory. Hallelujah. Because the Lord God is speaking about it. He is speaking to us about it. As a church, as a ministry, we have a place in the victory. We have a place after Corona. We have a place, hallelujah. The Lord reigns even after every circumstances. He is the God Almighty. He is in church. He reigns. To him belongs the power. To him belongs the greatness. To him belongs glory. To him belongs victory. To him belongs majesty. He is the king of kings. And to him belongs victory. We can embrace that victory before him. We can walk in it. We can accept it before God. We can tell the Lord, even this moment of time, Lord, usher me in the victory. Lord God Almighty, your people, in the old time, they went through difficulty, but you gave them victory. Even me, Lord, I want to have my victory. Even in this season, I desire to penetrate and to walk in my victory. I shall not die, hallelujah, but I shall live in victory. I shall walk in victory of God. I shall walk in the victory of God. Hallelujah. I shall walk. Speak it out. You confess it. The Bible says, as you confess, confession brings possession. As you confess your victory, you possess it. You possess what you confess. You confess your possession. Confess it before God. Your victory. Tell the Lord, it's my time of the victory. In the name of the Lord, Jehovah God Almighty, this is my time to arise. This is my time to go. As others are going down, I'm not going to go down. I'm going to go up in the name of the Lord. There are people who are going down, but I'm going up. Why? Because you are giving me victory. Hallelujah. Lord, we worship you. We give you praise, oh God. We magnify your name. You can possess your victory. You can take your victory. You can walk in that victory. In the mighty name of the Lord. Through circumstances, through situation, they will come. Difficult times will come. But the Lord God has anointed you with victory. He has put the DNA of victory in your life. Confess it. Speak it out. Hallelujah. The singer sang and said, because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Hallelujah. I can face tomorrow because Jesus Christ has given me victory over today, over tomorrow. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, oh God. Father, we give you praise. We worship you, Lord, for the victory that you are releasing to our lives. We thank you, Lord, in the middle of darkness, in the middle of challenges, in the middle of mourning, in the middle of crying, in the middle of difficult times. Lord, you are speaking about victory. 
You are speaking, oh God, about victory. Lord, oh God, my Father, we possess our victory. We take our victory in God, my Lord. Jehovah, God, my Father, because you are saying we are more than conquerors. Lord, God, my Father, we will conquer even what is here. We shall conquer it, oh Lord. Jehovah, God, my Father, you conquer the grave. You conquer the grave, Jesus, and you came out victorious. And because you conquered the grave, we are victory in you, Lord, oh God. Jehovah, we are victory over every circumstances and situation, oh Lord. And we are rise to our positioning. Jehovah, in this season, Jehovah, God, my Lord, you are repositioning us. Lord, oh God, for you are God, Jehovah God, my Father, you are rising us, you are taking us, oh God, through the Red Sea, you are taking us through, Jehovah God, and reposition us, us, oh God, in a place of victory, for you are the Lord, oh God, we thank you for the victory, we thank you, Jesus, for the victory over the works, oh God, of darkness, Jehovah, you are giving us victory, and we thank you, and we worship your name, oh God, Jehovah, we must magnify your name. We pray, Lord, for everyone, those, Lord God, in difficult situation, may they take their position, their, their victory. Those who are sick in the bed, may they take their victory. Jesus, you told the man that was coming by sicknesses, you told him, pick your bed and walk, take your victory. Go home and be healed. In the name of the Lord, I pray for those who are sick in the bed. Jehovah God, my Lord, that they shall come out in their victory. Jehovah God, with that testimony, Jehovah God Almighty, we pray, Jehovah God Almighty, the Lord my Father, those who are at home, discouraged, overwhelmed, oh God my Lord, by whatever is happening, Lord God, they shall take their victory. Jehovah God, they shall walk in it, and they shall reign, oh God. You are calling us to reign in victory. Jehovah God calls us to reign in victory, to walk in victory, to reign in victory, Jehovah God. Even as our ministry calls us to reign in victory, Jehovah God Almighty, to reign in victory. For you are God Almighty. Even as Christians cause us to reign in victory, oh God. For you are the Lord our God. We worship you, Lord. We magnify your name. We adore you, Lord, oh God. Father, we pray even for those who are there down there. Lord, my God, somebody that is courage, somebody looking for you, Lord. Someone is not born again. Father, I pray that even as they hear this message, they shall connect themselves to the victory of God. They will connect themselves to Jesus, Jehovah God, who conquered the grave. Lord, oh God, that shall conquer for them and overcome for them, oh Lord. Father, we thank you. We worship you, Lord, oh God. We magnify your name, oh God. We worship you, Lord. We enter in the season, oh God, of victory. Even as our ministry, we are entering victory, Jehovah. Victory, oh God, my Lord. Even as our people, Lord, oh God, my Lord. Victory, Lord, coming. Victorious life, oh God. In our businesses, in our families, oh God. We speak the victory of God. God, in the mighty name of Jesus, in our Christian walk, oh Lord, that there be victory. Jehovah God, my Lord, we thank you. We worship your name, oh God. Hallelujah. Let the light of victory, the ray of light of victory shine upon our very lives. The glory of God. We love you, Lord. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. We love you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, mighty God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We take that victory, Lord. We worship you, Lord, for this victory, Lord, oh God. Oh God, Lord. Hallelujah. We receive it, oh God. We walk in it, oh God, my Lord. Jehovah, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the victory. Thank you for the victory, O oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, bless your people, Lord. Bless your people with victory. Bless your people, Lord Jehovah. Lord God, nobody shall go down, be defeated. Even at this time, O oh God, our hour. Lord, I pray, Jehovah God, that your church shall arise more stronger. Even this time, O oh Lord, the church shall become more stronger and more victorious. Even the time of lockdown, O oh God, let the church arise. Lord, O oh God, let the church arise to be more victorious, O oh God. 
Oh God Almighty, raise young men and women who are victorious, oh Lord Jesus. Raise men who are victorious in you, Lord. Jehovah God Almighty, even this season, oh Lord, let there be a victorious church arising, oh Lord. Arising, oh God, my Lord. Jehovah God, we thank you, Lord. We worship your name, oh God, for you have given us victory. Victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to you, Lord. And we thank you. And we magnify your name. We worship you, Lord. Give the Lord. Just thank God for the victory. Just thank God for the victory. Just thank God for the victory. Thank God for the victory of May. Victory of April. Thank God for the victory the Lord is giving us. Just thank God for the victory He's giving us. Even in this time, oh Lord, we shall shine like never before. We shall walk in victory. We shall walk, Lord, and the Lord under our, under our cloud of victory. In the mighty name of the Lord. For you are Father. For you are God, my Lord, oh God. Jehovah, I pray for the cloud of victory to walk with us, oh Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the victory. Just thank God, worship him for that victory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We bless your name. We magnify you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We pray every Christian, even in this fellowship, shall walk in victory. Victory, Lord, oh God. Victory, Jehovah God, my Lord, my Father. In the mighty name of the Lord, every spirit of discouragement, every spirit of defeat shall be defeated in the mighty name of Jesus. And your people shall walk in victory for the glory and the honor and the praise of your name. Hallelujah. Father God, may you, may you bless your people. Bless everyone who has received this word, O oh God. May this word produce faith. May this word, Lord, my Father, produce life. May this word produce courage. Jehovah God, to go through the circumstances and every situation, O oh God. We are in a darker time, O oh Lord, my God. But you are with us, O oh Lord. Jehovah, you are with us. The victorious one is with us. And we thank you, Lord. And we worship your name, O oh Lord. You say, shall not leave us, nor forsake us. You shall go with us, O oh Lord. And therefore, Lord, victory is assured. Therefore, bless your people. Even Lord God, my Father, and Lord God, whatever they are, those who are here and those who are listening to us, different places, O oh God, may they be blessed of you. May they receive your word, O oh God. May your word bless them, O oh God. May this word produce a fruit in their lives, O oh God, for the glory and honor and praise of your holy name. Hallelujah. And now, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on us in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from the evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us now and forevermore. Amen. God bless you and let you receive victory in Jesus' name. Speak to your neighbor and say, walk and reign with the Lord in victory. Hallelujah. Reign of victory. Reign of victory. The reign of victory. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The reign of victory.